It's been a long time since these two clubs have gone head to head for Kansas in their Big 8 opener. Well, there are Smith and Henley back deep for the Jayhawks. A high kick, end over end. Henley takes it a couple of yards deep. They'll go to the knee, and the Jayhawks will start of Kansas. Lines up offensively. Mark Williams, the senior, and here are the other backs with him. Levine and Henley are the running back. The tight end is Jim Moore. Isaac Bird, a converted quarterback, is one of the wide receivers, and the other is a Sunday Smith. On the line, an experienced front line featuring Whitaker, Roberts, Peeble, a former Husker, Banks, and also Scott Whitaker. Rod Jones is up there to, uh, offensively for the Jayhawks as well. The throw on first down, Williams, and wide open is a Sunday Smith. Up front defensively for Colorado, Price, Hicks, and Jones. They are now using the 4-3 at Colorado. They have used the 3-4 for many years, but with Mike Hankwitz moving from Colorado to Kansas, they have switched things defensively. We'll look at the backs in just a moment. There's Smith again. Another reception. Another first down. Defensively in the secondary for the Buffaloes, it's Wilkins, Liamidi, Waska, and Cunningham. And now on the ground, big hole, wide open, June Henley, running hard up past midfield. Throwing again, Williams, he's two for two so far. What a great play by Williams, and there wide open is Henley. He could bust it down the sideline, and all the way down to the 24. The Jayhawks have it at the Colorado 24, first down. There goes Henley, trying to pick a hole. Henley still on his feet, and gets down to the 20 yard line. That's what that means in layman's terms to those who aren't offensive linemen. Well, a tackle there, right next to each other, so that you have a little security there. On play action, that's not cool. Now Williams forced to tuck it under and try to run for the first down. He is forced out of bounds, and now a chip shot field goal for Jeff McCord. And 35 yards out, the kick is off, the kick is good, and the Kansas Jayhawks are on the board first. The Jayhawks leading the fourth-ranked team in the country, three to nothing at Folsom Field in Colorado. You have on that team, you got to get some confidence for them, so it builds up right away. That's out of bounds. So Colorado will start with good field position. Take a look at the Buffaloes offensively, and you see Hustler, the quarterback, with Herschel Troutman, the tailback. The fullback is Keith Miller. Although Colorado will use a lot of double tight end formations. One of those tight ends is Matt Leftis. Ray Carruth, we've talked about him. He is outstanding. And a great front line, an experienced front line. They start at the 35-yard line after the out-of-bounds kick. The blitz coming from Kansas. And it's caught over the middle. Defensively now up front for the Jayhawks. Roger Kircher, Top Jones, Thorin, Bratton, and McGraw. And again, defensively for the Jayhawks, it's now a 3-4 alignment. A very young secondary with three of the top four starters out for the season because of injuries. Between Dorian Brew, Maurice Gaddy, Jamie Harris, and Freddie Hammer. Right at midfield, brought down because Colorado's awfully tough to stop. The Buffaloes are averaging 44 points a game. Troutman caught in the backfield, a loss of one. On the option, Hessler ripped down at the Kansas 45-yard line. Looks like some movement on the line there was. CLA, and they have not missed a beat here in Colorado. Hessler, pressure now, has to roll out of the pocket. Still looking for a receiver, can't find anybody. Lobs it downfield, way out of bounds. Great coverage in the secondary for Colorado. Here comes the pressure, and it's blocked by Kansas. They pick it up. They come in. Touchdown. Wow. Kansas is going to lead it 10 to nothing. Manolito Jones picked it up after it was blocked, and the Jayhawks are surprising the Buffalo. High snap, and the kick is blocked at the line. The snap really messed up the timing on that play. But the Jayhawks still lead it 9 to nothing here at Folsom Field in Colorado. Kansas is stunning the fourth-ranked Buffaloes. And we'll come back.
Spencer Bonner, number 45, gets in on touch. Boy, he smothers that football, and then picking it up, Manolito Jones. That was a great job by Bonner, too, and hitting the ball and not running into the kicker. Perfect angle on that. Trotman's going to try to run it out out of his own end zone, and it's back to the 20. They'll with an off week next week, and then they play Iowa State in two weeks. Hessler throws it to the wing, and the catch is made on the far side with Herschel Trotman behind Hessler. Oh, Trotman gets the ball. Stopped initially behind the line, but then he breaks the tackle, and he gets all the way out past the 40-yard line. Nine to nothing, the lead over Colorado. Kid coming in motion. The fake reverse. The throw down the middle. Wide open. Turn around. to within two. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So just like that, Colorado strikes back. The Buffaloes are on the board. A 58-yard strike from Hessler to Carew. Well, the Buffaloes serve notice that they're part of this ball game. 9-7 Kansas. Again into the end zone. The Jayhawks will watch it bounce through. The Williams back in there for the Jayhawks. The quick drop. The toss. And batted out by Isaac Bird. The second and ten for Williams and the Jayhawks. Williams gets out of the pressure. At least for a moment. The Jayhawks need to get it up to the 30-yard line. Williams is going to try to run it. Carrying that football kind of loosely. Lucky to hang on to it. It's Colorado looks like they want to block one here. Simmons gets it off, though. A low kick. Blocka fumbles it. Who's got it? I think Colorado got it back. Fourth of November, Missouri comes to Lawrence for the 1 o'clock kickoff. November the 11th, Kansas takes on defending national champ Nebraska. Double tight end formation. Hessler back to throw. Has plenty of time. Throws it out to the wing and incomplete. Kansas showing blitz. Pass. Caught by James Kidd. That's the first down. That's something the Jayhawks desperately need here today. Jayhawks still lead by 2 9 7. Colorado going deep again, but out of bounds. Pass intended for James Kidd. And that throw goes a little bit more towards the inside. It's probably a completion to Kidd. Instead, second and 10. Into the hole, Trotman close to a first down. Let's see where they mark it. He is not not real tall, but a lot of a lot of meat for that sort. Third body. one, Trotman busts the tackle of the line, picks up the first down. Where the opposition has averaged just 15 points per game. Hessler again wants to go deep, fires it across the middle, it's caught by Savoy. He's gone from a wishbone attack to a, a running attack that did not beat to the wish, but now they're into this passing attack. So, pick up of six, second and four. They give it to Troppen. He busted outside. Troppen brought down to the 20-yard line. The Buffs already in field goal range, but they'd like to take the lead right here with a touchdown if they can. Looks to be some confusion. Play clock was down to just one. Across the middle, broken up. Great defensive stand there by Dorian Brew. Freshman and a sophomore starting back there. Troutman again. Not much room to run this time. Good stand defensively there for the Jayhawks. Three receivers out wide to the left. In motion goes Troutman. Hessler. His second touchdown of the year for this game, taking a 9-0 lead. But now Colorado has answered with 14 unanswered points. Rick Neuheisel's crew, like they did against Texas A&M, like they did against Oklahoma a week ago, coming from behind, and went for a touchdown for Kansas. But since then, it's been all Colorado. And again, the kick from Leslie goes into the end zone. Could be a touchdown for Colorado. Kansas coming out the eye. 
The give is to Hanley, breaks the tackle of the line. That looked like a face mask there, still on his feet, past the 30, good enough for the first down. A good non-call by the officials and a first down for Kansas. A little pass out into the flat, that's Henley. And Henley with another eight or nine yards to make the running game work. Henley, 46 yards to the air. He's also rushed for 28 more. Dave Smith comes out wide to the left. The give is to the fullback. And that's L.T. Levine. Levine out there with Eric Van. Williams again back to pass. A little bit too strong for a Sunday Smith. Completion on the far side. On the quarterback keeper. It looks like Williams and the line surge. There goes Van. Looked like he had some room on the outside, but that got the bus attention. Colorado came back with two touchdown passes from John Hessler. One of those, a long strike to Ray Carew. We go to the second quarter with Colorado leading it by five, 14 to nine. Second down and seven for the Jayhawks. Kansas moving the football. Here comes the blitz. And a good play against the blitz. And running through the hole is L.T. Levine. He can carry for 11 yards. Now Williams to pass. The quick hitter to Ashunde Smith. Did he stay on his feet? He did! Ashunde was not knocked down. They say he never went to the ground. First and goal for the Jayhawks at the four-yard line. What a great call by the side judge to not rule Smith down. He down. Oh, exactly. Cutting it back. Levine, close to the touchdown. He's in! Wow! L.T. Levine, his fourth touchdown of the year in Kansas, back on top of the Buffalo. He did not play until the second quarter. Three carries, 16 yards, and the extra point is good for McCord. Kansas now with a two-point lead over Colorado. The Jayhawks. The game you can say, well, that was a that was a laugher. Then A&M and Oklahoma the last two weeks. Oh boy, the wind must be blowing. The flags are. Waving here at Folsom Field, the wind blowing from left to right. Hessler now throwing into that wind and a little bit too tall, the pass. Second and ten. Hessler again to throw. Has time. Lost it up. This one up for grabs and too strong for third and ten. Hessler again with time. Now hit as he throws it. And that caused the ball to be underthrown. You are looking at Isaac Bird, who is awaiting the punt. Bird will let it drop, and that's a mistake. Oh, boy, what a roll for Colorado. This ball is going to go all the way down inside the 10. They just let it roll. Through some mistakes on their own seven-yard line. Good move here for June Henley. Second and three for the Jayhawks. And the give again is to the up back. That's Levine. Boy, the Jayhawks with that early passing attack. First down, Jayhawks at the 31-yard line. Mainly bust one tackle in the backfield. And no, but they kept winning without me. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Williams, there's Bird. That's a completion at the 49. Another first down for Kansas. Look at this, total offense, Kansas with the lead. A Sunday Smith came back for the ball, had it, and dropped it, trying to cheer on the Buffalo's defense. A defense that has already yielded over 200 yards. Penalty flag down, we've seen relatively few of those. The blitz was coming from Bird. Lots of time for Williams. Throws it back across the middle. It is caught. Very 
close to a first down. A deep throw and intended for Isaac Bird. Bird thought he was interfered with. Second and 10 for KU. Kansas picks up the blitz. Oh, wide open was Andre Carter. He might be asking too much to get a couple times on one, one drive. Williams has time. Steps up in the pocket. The pass is caught. Let's see where they mark it. We'll go for it. The Jayhawks are three of four on fourth down this year. That's going to be close. Let's see where they mark it. Henley was stopped. Give the ball to Colorado and down. And it looks like it's going to go to CU. But again, I like the ball at their own 31-yard line. And the give there is to Marlon Barnes. 15-14 Kansas. We're in the second quarter. Barnes again trying to hop over a couple of tacklers. And he looks like a safety blitz coming up for Kansas. Hessler now checking the call to line. A wobbly pass, a one-hopper to Carruth in his last four attempts. Kansas maybe looking to block it one more time. A Sunday Smith looking up into that sun, and the tough win, too. But all these events brought to you by Super Target. Expect more, pay less. Kansas with the ball. Mainly stopped for no gain. In fact, he might have lost a couple. Kansas has not only outgained Colorado, but they've outpassed him as well. That's a real shocker. And another completion as Henley takes it out of bounds. First down, Kansas. The give is to L.T. Levine. He tried to spin out of a tackle. Williams somehow got out of that and picked up positive yardage. Third and nine. Listen to this play. Both and fumble. Williams probably got back to it. A skipper and partially blocked. A low snap and that cost Kansas. And now a penalty flag is thrown. And I think they're gonna pick up the flag. So here is Coy Detmer with an injured knee playing for Colorado. Good ball fake. Someone that has had one. It is a very painful and the most serious knee injury. Here comes Henry again. Nearing the five-minute mark here of the second quarter. Now Detmer back to throw. Has time across the middle. Detmer did not have too much trouble setting up. First and goal for Colorado. The ball inside the 10 at the eight yard line. And again, it's Lyndon Henry. Henry stopped at the two. Good tackling inside by Kansas. So third and goal at the two. Kansas leading by two. Savoy comes in motion. Detmer wants to throw into the end zone. Broken out. Great play defensively by Kansas. This will be an attempt of just 19 yards. Boscarician, seven of nine field goals this year. This one is up, and it is true. And Colorado has regained the lead, but it's just a one-point lead for the Buffalo. Timeout here in Boulder. 3.41 to go to halftime. And big holes for Lyndon Henry, but the Buffs still have to settle for a field goal. And a big kick here through the end zone, and Kansas is trying to figure out a way for his defense to stop KU. Williams again to throw, and again wide open, June Henley. And Henley, another first down for Kansas in this first half of 173 yards through the air. I'm really impressed with Williams, not just his throwing, but his footwork and his ball handling. Now Henley with a man draped all over his back. Positive success, you might say. <laughs> and there is Bird. Bird spins out of bounds right at midfield. 
Kansas might want to lock that locker room door. Not let's get in there and talk. The pressure has not bothered Williams so far. Looking again. With a quick drop, Williams throws it up. No. I thought maybe a penalty there during the two-minute mark of this first half. From the shotgun. Oh, wide open across the middle. That's Mark Sanders. Uh, he was shouting out signals for the line to pick up that blitz, and they did it effectively. Williams, a hard toss. Caught by Bird. Boy, Williams is something else today. First down, Kansas. The 21-yard line. The give is to Henley. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, Henley, who goes across the 15. They've averaged just 170 yards a game through the air. There's L.T. Levine. He was pulled down at the line and now pulled down at the 10-yard line. We're just halfway through, almost. Kansas can pick up a first down, but for all intents and purposes, this is first and goal and another pass completion on first down. The Jayhawks still have two timeouts remaining. Henley, touchdown! June Henley dies over the pile, and the Jayhawks have regained the lead. Wow, what a game in Boulder! So June Henley with the touchdown, his sixth of the year. And the extra point is up, and it is good from Jeff McCord. So the Kansas Jayhawks and some teams for Colorado, but they were held for just three points. That was a huge play for, for the Kansas Tita. Back out there, quarterback for the Buffaloes. And you see the time, just 23 seconds to go. What will Colorado do here? Looks like they're going to throw it. And a little close after a penalty. And the ball and the player both go out of bounds. Just sit on the ball here and take it into the locker room. I'm not sure if I, I would be. I think I'd be comfortable if I was too high. Detmer is going to drop back and in the safe running play. Kansas playing well back defensively will allow Lyndon Henry to lead really could be bigger for KU. Detmer will throw it across the middle of Carew. He's now being faced by six Jayhawks. Look out, here comes the band. Carew still on his feet and now finally brought down. Now we can go to the locker room and we can go to break. Maurice Gaddy finally brought down Ray Carruth and the Jayhawks with the upset in the making leading Colorado at halftime 23 to 17. John Hessler. We give to Troutman a couple of stutter steps and a pickup of four. That's second and six for the buff. Detmer time to throw but Ray Carruth was being, I can't even handle it. So third and six, Detmer again to throw. Feeling some pressure, a little shovel pass to Troutman. That was improvisation. And Troutman has the first down to the 32. First and 10 Buffaloes on the Kansas 32. Troutman, a huge goal. Troutman inside the 10. Now Detmer being attended to on the sideline. First and goal, the seven-yard line. The give again, Troutman, he's the ball! It's in the end zone, picked up by Kansas. I believe Kansas has the football. They do as a touchback. The Jayhawks will start on their own 20 performance offensively here in the second half. Levine with a nice cutback. Or is that Henley? It is. Again, back to throw, wide open on the flat. A catch is made, that's a Sunday Smith. And Kansas coming right back. Bird set wide right. Now L.T. Levine busts through the middle for about three. Second and seven for the Jayhawks. Williams now has to spin out of trouble. It is caught, Bird, he caught it twice. Moving back towards midfield. And the call is holding against the Jayhawks. From the shotgun, Williams.
in the flat. The throw goes to Mark Sander. And he is forced out of bounds. Across the middle, the catch is made and pressing for the first down. Tesla in there for the injured, re-injured Coy Detmer. Tesla hit as he throws the ball. And they're going to call that incomplete. Up. Tesla looking out. This is very penalty by Jones. He had a lot of help coming. Of course, he might not have been aware of that, but. Right there, you see where he grabbed that face mask, and that's going to cost Kansas a stop here. Five yards back. That is against Colorado. Colorado, in that contest, played a very similar ball game. They fell behind to Missouri early on. They made the late drive, the final drive, that won them the ball game on that controversial fifth down play. But Colorado is playing a lot like that here today. Well, it was Lefton who jumped offside, and it's Lefton who picks up the first down. The pitch to Troutman. And Troutman picks up 10 yards on first down. Troutman again. Troutman, boy, had one tackle. Now Oklahoma's come back to take the lead against Iowa State in Ames. Hessler to a wide open Troutman touchdown. Oscar Etienne on for the extra point. It's good. And Colorado has regained the lead. 24 to 23. What a ball game. What a ball game. We come back to Boulder in just a moment. We saw battle between Colorado and Kansas today. Leslie sends it to the four. Henley hit it to 23. Yeah. Williams in the flat. That's L.T. Levine. Six, second and four. Not much room to run in the middle. Third and three for KU. Pat it down, and it falls harmlessly to the turf. First down on that, too. He was wide open. Darren Simmons. Oh, this is a big one. I mean, really big. And it takes a Kansas hop. It will go out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Hard to criticize John Hessler. I mean... He's had a big day today, 167 yards and three touchdowns. Kansas needs to stop defensively right here. The fake to Troutman. Now look out. Whoa, boy. Third and 14 here, though. Look out. Troutman, but this will go for negative yardage. He is stopped behind the line. A high kick. Bird will call the fair catch. Look out! Look out again! Williams does the right thing. He falls on the football. Producer director is doing an outstanding job of covering most of these weird shots. Williams goes airborne, and there's Bird! Oh, right through his hand! And that might have been as much of a problem as anything. Now Simmons with a little foot kick. He'll try to pin Colorado back, and this takes a backward hop, and Kansas will down it at Colorado many years ago. Keith runs about 280, though. I don't think he'll ever got that big. <laughs> it's back, Barnes. Boy, he is... Right now, trying to carry him going head to head with him. And if Matt Switch for Colorado, that could be intentional grounding. That is. There it is. Hessler just got rid of that football. Right at the end of the end zone. 
He gets rid of it. And coming up to call the fair catch is a Sunday Smith. And they knock Kansas back in their heels a little bit. Kansas trying to rebound here, get up off the mat. That's a good way to do it. I, and I don't just mean the knee. Big hole here. June Henley running hard. That's the first down. No touchdowns, but no interceptions. 272 yards through the air. First and 10, Jayhawk from the shotgun. That's Levine crawling forward to pick up of a couple. Look out, but wide open is Smith coming across the middle. The blitz was coming. Colorado, third down and two. Henley, I don't think he's got enough for the first down. Regain the lead again. This will be a 31-yard attempt. McCord already good from the 35, and this one is good. And Kansas back in front again. Wow! Hey. And he booms this one through the end zone. A little more of that adrenaline, perhaps, into the front row. Troutman stopped at the line, fell forward for a yard or two. That we were nearing the one-minute mark of the third quarter. Hessler getting rid of it. The catch is made by Savoy. Savoy today, that's just his second catch of the day. Pass to the wing. That ball is caught by James Kidd. Contact. With your man down the field, you're all right. So first and 15. Lock moving under 30 seconds. Esper wants to wants it all to Peru. No, oh, it's right. Dory and Peru thought he made a good defensive. First down for the Buffs. They have the ball to their own 44. Barnes trying to shove the line forward, picks up about three. For Kansas, the team that led at halftime, leads again as we head to the final quarter. Jayhawks surprising Colorado by two. Kansas upsetting the fourth-ranked Buffaloes as we head to the fourth quarter. Hessler on the option. A penalty flag comes down. A three-yard advantage for Kansas and a two-point advantage for the Jayhawks. Savoy, he makes the catch, going for a little extra, fumbles the football, and it's picked up by Kansas, that little extra cost it, and it's Patrick Brown, who comes up large again, and again, great field position for the Jayhawks. Henley, Henley, could go all the way, he will, touchdown Kansas. A penalty flag is down, and this could be roughing the quarterback. That is a roughing foul. Buffaloes. And the Jayhawks are widening the gap. The extra point is good. 35-24 KU. Wow, what an upset. Well, we see Coy Detmer now starting to warm up on the Colorado sideline. McCord will kick it through the end zone, and that will go to the 20-yard line. Detmer's the kind of competitor where you can't keep him on the bench. I think that's the problem. They go right back to Savoy, the man who fumbled it. He breaks a couple of tackles and gets it up to the 42. That's Detmer today. Detmer given lots of time. He wins one across the middle. That pass is caught. Pickup of nine, second and one. Detmer again, now he will run. Flags are thrown. Detmer caught in a pile. Look out, boy, every time he gets hit now, hold. Oh, it is. They'll bring this one back. What penalties have been cost for the Colorado today, haven't they? Detmer going down the middle, and Carruth cut the wrong way. This one is picked off by Hammond. And Hammond takes it all the way down to the 35-yard line. 35-yard line. Henley. 
They're trying to strip the ball from June. They can't do it. 12, 13 to go in this one. LP Levine spinning for the first down. He takes it down to the 20 yard line. Gonna throw a pass. It's gonna be one that will eat up some time. A short pass. Second down, we'll say 10. Williams across the middle. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. A Sunday fifth out. Another official comes in and says no catch. Quite get enough on the ball. That looked like a catch. It sure did. That really looked like a great catch. A little double pass, L.T. Levine fighting for that first down. L.T. is going to fall forward for the first down. What an effort. Levine, he got back to the five. That's it. He can get the touchdown here. That's Stalbrook, and he goes nowhere. In fact, lost a couple of yards. To the corner of the end zone, touchdown, Isaac Bird! Now they're gonna go for two. Williams stays on his feet. Looking in the end zone, it's good. The two-point conversion, but a flag on the play. It is holding against Kansas. Will be from the 27, a 37-yard attempt at the extra point, and it's good. Some of the longer extra, we should have given them two points. <laughs> but Kansas takes the lead, 40 to 24. Can the Jayhawks hold on? Called that name a few times, made to stop. I think sometimes when the ball is kicked this deep into the end zone. The coverage team may slow down a bit, thinking that, that the runner's going to take the knee. Detmer in there at quarterback. The pass is caught by Leftis. Not much, though, just a gain of a couple. And over 300 yards passing. Across the middle, almost picked off. The throw was behind him. Seemed to spark Colorado, then re-injured the knee. And now here he is again, and oh, that, that knee just went out again. This could be it for the year. Detmer just fell. He was not hit. John Hessler, who has thrown three touchdown passes today to try to bring the Buffaloes back. The Buffs need two touchdowns with two-point conversions just as high today. That one is caught. James Kidd in his ground. Was there defensively, and it's going to come back. A high punt. Bird circling under it. And he makes the grab. That's a tough play. The, the Kansas back on offense, looking to eat some clock. Big run here for Henley. That looked like the exact same play they ran with a touchdown. And Henley runs up for about eight yards. I don't think so. <laughs> Although the line has done a good job as well. Kansas trying to push forward for the first down. They're running nearing the seven-minute mark. When you look at the rankings, they have been able to run the ball and pass the ball today to Jayhawk. There's Henley. He wants to stay in bounds. They will keep the clock moving. Looks like Kansas is setting up a passing play, and Mark Williams is tripped by the line. The pressure's coming. Simmons gets it off, and it takes the Kansas bounce. Boy, does it ever. Kansas able to down it at the one-yard line. What a catch by Carew. Wow, good stuff. Pass across the middle, batted down. A 16-point lead for Kansas. A pass at their wide receiver. A lot of weapons for CU. Hessler standing in there, throws up a wobbler, so boy can't come down with it. Real big when this started, 
when this game started. Mm -hmm. Fourth down, incomplete. Kansas will take over on down. They've got a bye week now next week. That might help get him a little healthier if he's going to be back. Flag is thrown as when Frank Sire and the Jayhawks surprised OU. That was the game in which Troy Aikman Again, Hanley trying to hang on to the football. He does not have enough yards. Falling and handing the ball off Williams. What an effort. L.T. Levine does pick up the first down. It's 34 Hawks. Pick up your ticket. Nearing the four-minute mark. First and five for the Jayhawks. All they have to do is hang on to the football. They're trying to rip it out of the arms of L.T. Levine and give a lot of credit, not only to Williams, the quarterback, and Henley, the running back, but also to the offensive coordinator, Pat Golden Rule. Williams trying to stay in bounds, just falls down to keep the clock moving. This one might be the biggest. This one could be the one that points Kansas in the direction that Colorado was pointed in. As far as, remember when Colorado was that team looking to make that next step. Well, now the Jayhawks will go for it again on fourth down and two. Hanley will not make it this time, and they'll turn the ball over to Colorado. If you would like to welcome the victorious Jayhawks home. Kessler, incomplete. They're going to be facing one team full of confidence and another that's fighting mad. Pass down the middle to Carew. The tackle is made at the end. Still can't take anything away from the uh, defensive effort that, oh, there it is. And again, the wrong cut, miscommunication, and the fourth turnover, the second interception of the day. That one picked off by Dorian Brew, and let the celebration begin from CU. Now Kansas can fall on the football. L.T. Levine stopped at the 45-yard line. Equipment men, trainers. <laughs> Rick Neuheisel facing defeat for the first time here today. And that'll do it. He goes to the knee for the final time, and Kansas has the upset win. The Kansas Jayhawks upsetting Colorado 40 to 24. Not only that, but they do it in the Buffalo's backyard. We'll come back to wrap things up from Folsom Field in just a moment as the Kansas Jayhawks go to 5 and 0. Oh.